Hey there, people, Lenny Rio here for Fish Talk, and today we have a special treat. Let's go for a ride on a Solus 30 HCS. This boat is the latest and greatest from Solus, so we've come to Bosun's Marine in Graysonville, Maryland to check it out. The first and most critical thing to know about this boat is that it's not built like every other fiberglass boat, not by a long shot. In fact, this boat is an epoxy infused carbon fiber layup with Inegra also in the layup. Now the Inegra actually absorbs vibrations. The carbon fiber of course is as light and as strong as possible. And what you end up with is a completely different feel underfoot. Now if all this stuff's so great, how come every boat builder in the world doesn't use it? Well, first off, it is expensive, but more importantly, it actually has to be baked. The epoxy gets its best benefits when it's actually heated. So you can bake it in an oven, but it takes a big giant oven to bake a boat, right? Well, that is why this boat is actually laid up in a heated mold. The astonishing thing is just about everything on this boat is built to that level of integrity, that level of the highest tech possible. Look at the hinges on this opening windshield, for example. There's some serious metal going on here, people. Check out the hatches. They come up on a gas assist strut, perfectly finished inside. They're gasketed, the box is guttered. That is a hatch you've just got to love. Now, wait a sec, did you hear how that closes? No big slam, just a whoosh. Here's another crazy cool construction feature. These cushions have magnets in them. Magnets are laminated into the fiberglass, so they stay secure, but when you want to pull them off, it's a piece of cake. And while we're sitting here, even though it's not a construction feature, I just got to point out, when you pop this hatch open, look at that. The cushion doesn't hit the in whale. It doesn't get in the way like it does on many boats. That's some really nice design. Okay, people, you ready to go for a boat ride? I know, I'm excited too. This boat is rigged with twin 400 horsepower Mercs. Now, you can get it with 450s, but I'm telling you right now, with 400 on the transom, this boat has some serious get up and go. 4,000 RPM right there. I'm doing 35.3 miles an hour. Let's see what happens when we take it to 4,500. We've got 40. Still creeping up. 40.4, 40.5. Impressive, right? Not bad, Lenny. What do you mean not bad? You think you can do better? I think I could probably squeeze a little more out of her. Really? Yeah, probably. All right, I'm going to turn the wheel over to Jack. He knows this boat a little better than I do, and he thinks he can get it to go even faster than 55 miles an hour. We're going to find out. So that was pretty incredible, 62. Not bad. We should be able to squeeze a little bit more out of it. Another thing that is truly spectacular about this boat is the way that it handles. When you're running, man, does it respond to the wheel. a half turn.
People, I've run a lot of boats, and I'm telling you right now, I can't think of one that handles like that. Wow, people, that was one fun test drive. Now, let's go through the boat from stem to stern and see what else we can find. Ah, oh, in, in just a minute, just a minute. You'll notice that this boat has power poles at the stern and an electric trolling motor up front. Solus does build this boat as a hybrid bay boat. Now it's a giant for a bay boat, obviously, but it does have lower gunnels than most of their line, and it does allow for that kind of fishability. You've got 18 inches of static drift with the engines up, so you're not gonna be fishing the flats with this boat, but you can get a lot more shallow than one might expect. Up front, you got an anchor with a windlass, storage compartments underneath of these forward seats, and don't forget, folks, you can just pull these cushions and use this area as a casting deck. Under the gunnel here, you've got tackle stowage. What do we got here? One, two, three, four boxes. And on the other side, you have a trash can. There's some additional tackle stowage in either side of the leaning post. The wash down is neatly contained and you can switch between raw and fresh water. On both sides in the deck, you've got 35 gallon integrated insulated fish boxes. They evacuate with gulper pumps. Here under the leaning post, we've got a frigid, rigid cooler. And let's take a closer look at the leaning post itself. Uh, the back of the leaning post here, we've also got a rigging station with a sink, cutting boards, cup holders. This transom seat is quite tricked out and another example of some really intelligent design. First off, yeah, it's comfy. Now, if you want to sit facing F, you just grab the seat back, pull it there, and there you go. You've got aft seating right here, but let's take a closer look at the mechanism on this seat back. A lot of seat backs just flip and flop. This one has the gas assist arm here and a serious piece of metal. So when you maneuver the seat back, it's nice and smooth. And on top of that, it stays put. And as it happens, there are live wells underneath of each seat, 30 gallons. We have five rocket launchers across the back of the hard top, plus a couple of kingfish holders and Notice how everything is integrated into this top. The spreader lights, the overhead lights, the speaker, 